Hello, uh, Mr. DeBona here. I understand you're going to be coming to the library soon to teach yourself about the lives of scientists, to find out new things that you can connect to things you already know. Um, I thought I'd have a brief slideshow to show you some of the resources I'm going to pull out and how you might use them. We'll probably start with encyclopedias. I've got three or four sets. Uh, the set I've got here is the Encyclopedia Americana, which is about 30 volumes long. On the spine of the encyclopedia, it, it lets you know what's inside. This one has all the topics between uh, heart and India. And so seeing how I'm looking up the scientist William Herschel, uh, I'll look up his last name, Herschel, and he ought to be in here. And sure enough, if I go alphabetically, I, I find the article that, for him that begins down at the bottom of the page in the red circle, and it continues up on the top. And I need to read it. Uh, that's when I pull up my sheet of paper and I start writing down some notes, names, places, important contributions. Uh, you notice that little red arrow I've got on the page. If we look closer, at the end of an encyclopedia article, uh, it gives you the name of the person who wrote that article. So that would be the author for that particular article. Uh, some encyclopedia entries won't have that, but if there is a, uh, an author to look for, that's where it will be at the end of the, at the, end of the article. Another book I've pulled out is a 10-volume set called The History of Science. Um, the volume number is on the, on the front of the book, and it's also on the spine label. Now, the way you might want to tack this is to use the index. The index is in the, the back of the book, and it's an alphabetical listing of names and topics, again, by, by, by last name of the person. So I scroll down through until I find uh, William Herschel, and it's going to give me two bits of information. You see the six I've got circled there in bold, that's the, that's the volume number. So I'm going to look for book six and then look on page 56 and 58. You see he's also in a few other books, but usually the first book listed is the main article. So I'm going to go find myself book six. And sure enough, if I turn to page 56, there is the article on William Herschel. Now there's nothing to do, folks, except to read, read the article. There are no shortcuts. You want to take a look and see uh, there's captions, there's some subheadings. Uh, I've indicated over on the right a little blue blue uh, sidebar box. And if we take a close look at that, that's some quick facts. Um, some interesting ones. He trained as a musician. Well, that, that's kind of an interesting family note. Uh, down below, I see he, he works with his sister, Carolyn. And that's, I think, kind of odd because that's back in the 1700s. If you look at the vertical line, uh, I get a general idea of, of when he was working in the late 1700s. So that's, that's good information. Looks like the guy discovered a planet. Cool. Um, but now that I don't know the years that he worked, I've got another set of book called The Timeline of Science. And I've pulled out volume five, which you can see at the top covers the years in which uh, William Herschel worked. And once again, I go to the back of the book, look at the index, and it says if I look on book four, page 24, uh, there is information about William Herschel. Uh, that book, page 24, is the sort of thing you ought to write down in your notes so you can find it next time. So I go to page 24. And what do I see? It's an article on telescopes. Well, that, that makes sense because in the early article that I read, he discovered a planet. And so now I'll find out more information about the telescopes he invented. I see down the left-hand corner an arrow. And down there is a little sidebar that talks about other people who improved telescopes. And those are all other names that I can chase down if I want to find further information. And some of those people, especially the last one, in 1758, it looks like it might have been something that Herschel, or someone Herschel might have known, which is a good bit of information. I can also look in the front of the book. This is the front of the book, and it's the table of contents. And the table of contents gives a basic focus for each chapter, the broad idea of each chapter. Uh, down at the bottom, it looks like there's a, a chapter on key people on page 46. And if I go to page 46, there's some nice articles on, on each person. And if I turn the page, there's one on William Herschel. Back at the table of contents, I see there's also a timeline from 1792 to 1799. Again, those are around the years when Herschel was working. Now, this is a color-coded co timeline, which I can read uh, across the top. I read all about astronomy year by year, and maybe find some names and other people he worked with. Or I can go down the page and read everything that happened in a given year. And that way you can relate to the things you already know. 
late 1700s. Let's see, the American Revolutionary War is done. Well, that's what's going on in my country. And if I wanted to find out more about what was going on at the time in history, I've got a similar book called Timeline of History. And so once again, I can look up those same years and find out what's going on around the world in Europe, Africa, not only in technology, but in arts and literature. Might be something that pertains to it. That's kind of a quick overview of how to find your way around. And now it's your turn, and there aren't too many shortcuts. You need to ask me questions. I'll be glad to help you find other books and find your way through the books. You need to read carefully. Separate yourself away from your friends and the people like you talk to, and actually sit down and read. Have a sheet of paper. Keep track of the books you use, important words, words you don't understand, and take notes. And learn things. More than getting the assignment done, learn things. And, and share them with us. I'd love to find out. I look forward, forward to you coming down, and hopefully this will help you out. It's going to be on, right on the website, on the, on the library page. So if you forget what's in this video, uh, check it out again. Good luck.